Hi everyone. Welcome to this week's History to with Holly. I'm currently in a bit of a rush, so I'm recording this one on the go. Today I'm looking at, uh, well not really reviewing, talking about Patrick White's book, Memoirs of Many in One. And the main word I'd use to describe this book is weird. It's a novel um, and it's split into two narrators. One is the author, Patrick White, and the other is a woman called Alex Gray, who is mentally ill um, and who spends her life seeing herself doing things that aren't real. So, and the book is in the form of her memoirs um, with editorial interjections by Patrick White. So essentially, he's editing her memoirs of her life. Um, so it's a bit confusing in that you're always thinking about, um, is this actually happening to Alex? Like she's telling the story as if these things are actually happening, like a trip with the theatre around outback New South Wales, whereas actually it's all just happening in her head and she hasn't left her home in, in Sydney. Um, and so, and then Patrick interjects with some, a bit of reality, but it's interesting looking at just the nature of mental illness, the nature of how families cope with it in a time where medication was limited, attitudes were very, um, archaic, um, where the treatment for mental illness was essentially to lock people up in asylums, um, just quite scary, but, um, it made you think about the nature of relationships, particularly between mother and daughter. By the end, well, by the time the novel's going on, when Alex is quite elderly, the, the roles of mother and daughter, Alex and Hilda, have been reversed. And Hilda, the daughter, is the one doing the caring, the organising, the cooking, the cleaning. Um, and Alex feels like the child. And she feels like the child. It's not just like an, a reader's observation that she seems like a child. She says more than once, my mother, daughter, Hilda, or she's looking at me like I'm a naughty child, or she speaks to me like I'm a naughty child. So she sees that role reversal for herself, which is interesting. A lot of people you would think here in that situation wouldn't be cognizant of it, but she is. Uh, anyway, I just, it's a really interesting insight into the brain of somebody who is mad. Um, and the, it's an insight into the way that families without much help have to deal with it. Um, and I really found it strange. I enjoyed bits of it. I found it challenging to read just because it was so disjointed and you had trouble figuring out who, um, sort of whether what she was saying was actually happening or not. Um, and I think the interjections by the author, Patrick White, made the story make a bit more sense. It was also interesting the way he it was almost autobiographical, you know. He, he placed himself as a character in the story, which is really an interesting thing. But Patrick White is, is renowned for um, flipping that, that role in his novels. Anyway, um, yeah, so memoirs of, a, of many in one. If you're into that sort of thing, I highly recommend it. If not, yeah, it might be a bit boring for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.